our guest is in studio. She is the beautiful new mom in town. Yeah, she's a blogger, actress. She goes by the name of Chantelle Petit. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Dark Boy. Yes. Thank you. So um, earlier this year, a lot happened. Yeah. Um, would you mind telling us? Oh, um, okay, I gave birth. Yes. At the beginning of January. Mm -hmm. And I de developed complications together with my baby and ended up getting fistula at the end of that whole deal, ordeal. Mm. Mm. Okay, for those people who might not know what that is, mm. and it's so important because, as you know, on our show, we talk to the youth. Yeah. So maybe you can break down for us mm. what fistula is and okay. how it affects a woman's yeah, reproductive okay. system. So fistula, there are two types. I had the rectovaginal fistula, which is a hole that connects the rectum and the vagina, and it um, allows gas and stool to pass through to the vagina. That's what I had. In terms of affecting the reproductive system, uh, I would say sex is not allowed for a period of time, and natural birth as well after having fistula. Mm, did you have a natural birth? I did have a natural birth, yes. Uh, and it was delayed. And that's, that's what resulted to fistula, or yes. what happened? Uh, so uh, my birth was delayed, and mm. then I developed a third degree tear. When they did that surgery, oh, yeah. the stitches backfired, mm -hmm. so that formed a hole. Wow. Mm. Now, uh, when you, of course, when you were having your baby, you were prepared. Were you prepared mm. for a normal birth or CS? Normal. I normal. did not want CS. But now, when, when this occurred, when the fistula now changed everything, how, how did you cope with it financially? Oh, financially, it was a challenge. Mm. I actually had to start a pay bill to cater for the surgeries. I did four of them. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So, you know how it is, oh, um, you know, telling people now you're here, you're wondering, okay, guys, mm. my followers, please, guys, raise money. Mm. And, you know, it's something that you've done before. It's mm. hard to start telling people. How did you, were you, were you a bit like, oh, let me, let me pull back. Let's see what a family we can yes. do. Or how was it? How, how, because I watched and we, like everyone, I think everyone, when watched that vlog, everyone breaking down. Yeah. How was it for you? Asking for people's money. <laughs> so it was hard. Yeah. I didn't want to do it, yeah. but then when I saw how much it would cost to perform the procedures, mm -hmm. I knew there was no way we could afford that yeah. as a family. Yeah. Also, posting that video took maybe a week or so before I decided, mm -hmm. okay, let's upload it. Yeah. 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 And maybe for those who are curious mm -hmm. and they want to know, you know, how bad this was, mm -hmm. the whole ordeal, how much was the surgery? Oh, wow. Okay, the last surgery, the mm. one to stitch the fistula, was eight hundred thousand. Wow. But that's because I stayed a whole month in the hospital because mm. after the surgery, something happened with my wound, mm -hmm. so they had to attend to it mm. every single day. Mm. Yeah. And then you started vlogging when you were in hospital. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can tell us about where the idea for for that came out, or where you got the idea to to share the experience with people on a vlog. Okay. So I had been vlogging since November 2017 and my entire pregnancy is on my YouTube channel and my followers had requested I do a labor and delivery video. Initially I thought it would be glamorous like all the mm. other videos but when all that happened I had disappeared for maybe 17 days and then one of my followers sent me a DM asking me hey what's up why haven't you uploaded we know you've given birth and I told her something happened would you want to see the entire experience she said yeah please don't leave out any details so I thought to myself it would be nice to show women mm -hmm. that all the vlogs out there are very glamorous yeah. and beautiful mm -hmm. let me show them the other side of delivery mm -hmm. which is you get tears mm -hmm. you, your emotions are all over the place and you can develop fistula as well mm -hmm. and how did people respond how do you feel people responded to to that to you being so open with the, the experience they appreciated it and also some of them found out they had fistula as well really? yeah and they also knew that some knew that they had tears as well that they needed to get attended to by doctors mm -hmm. so it was received well also some people cried like she said mm -hmm. which yeah it's crazy <laughs> and um, um let me ask mm -hmm. um um how has motherhood actually affected um the way you 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 vlog is it vlog mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. you vlog mm -hmm. and um from the experience you you like went through mm -hmm. has it affected the way you do you think um, do you have yes. a different now uh, perspective like you know have you from a different angle mm -hmm. when you're doing what you do i mean time wise it's affected me completely mm -hmm. um i used to upload every week now i upload once a month mm -hmm. um and also now i'm more informative with mm -hmm. my videos not mm -hmm. just pointless videos yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but videos that educate people yeah. about motherhood, what's happening with their bodies and the likes. So that's mm. amazing. I'm sorry yeah. to ask this, but are you now okay? Is yes. everything okay? Yes. Uh, I am still in recovery. Mm. I have my moments, but mm. I have been cleared to be normal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. yeah, amazing. Someone cannot even tell. Yeah. Like literally, you know, yeah. seeing you, yeah, like you went through <laughs> a big ordeal. Yeah. Yes. So, so as so we strong. as we know through the vlogs and how you talked about Bubu Kitty mm -hmm. and uh, how Bubu is, uh, how is she now? Is she is she fine? She's good. We have a couple of um, issues, but they're yeah. not that bad. Oh. But she's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. so we'll just have a segment. We play games. So mm -hmm. right about now, game sports. Hey. Hey. Too much. Nah. Too much. <laughs> it is too okay, much. it is too much. Okay. So when you come back, when you to the angle, when you to the angle, would you rather? Woo! Now would you rather I'm not option A, B, and you tell us why. Today I ain't picking for nobody. Everyone is picking for themselves. Dio, kila mtu atapatia. Na I think people are chukua papers. You need to tattoo tattoo. I have taken my three. Sorry. Make sure Noni has taken three. <laughs> and Noni don't hey. peep. Yeah, Noni, please. <laughs> we know you <laughs> really passed the shield. Hey, Noni and Atushezanga. So let me start as you guys get your papers. Uh, would you rather have hey, five have stitches so to Let's fix a bad cut or have a tooth pulled out? Kai, five stitches. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the because you I won't feel the pain. They'll numb my gums. They take out the tooth and life. But stitches, guys. You'll feel the pain later. Ah ah. Zirudi, we turn as a chukulu as ingida as ingida zirudi. Pick, 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 pick. We finish them. Ah, no need. This one didn't make sense. Okay. Um. Some more. Oh boy. Um. Okay. Would you rather have a bee sting you on the face or hold a snake? Hold a snake. Let me be honest. Hey, B. One, one B. One B. Yeah. One B. <laughs> I will hold a snake. Yes, I, I had goodness. a bad experience yes, with even bees. Me. And yeah. I would I would just hold, hold a snake. Okay, how many I times can't. will it sting it? Sting me just <laughs> once. <laughs> I can't even watch it. I'll hold the snake. Hold the snake. Uta because furu, the snake will, you just hold it. No, I can't hold the snake. Where? I, I can't can hold die out things. of fear. On and your face. I'll be stung once. <laughs> just once is fine. No, guys. Uh, mine is no. would you rather be attacked by bees or bitten by the GSU? Okay, now this <laughs> one. <laughs> Guy. Now, because they said bees, what any people in a GSU? What are they doing? What are they doing? And I'm um, doing my course, switch TV, switch TV. I am trying to tell you. Let me cross what I come through, see ya. Let me cross what I come through. Uh -huh. um, would you rather lose your sense of smell or your sense of taste? Mm. I think smell. I'm a foodie. Uh, and yeah. I like tasting food. <laughs> yes, and, and you know, smell you won't smell when people do some stuff you won't even yeah. notice. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you smell Japanese foods. <laughs> but you taste. <laughs> but you don't but taste, you taste it, it baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mine is: Would you rather win an Olympic gold medal or an Academy Award? An Academy Award anytime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This Olympic. <laughs> 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 Academy. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> Academy any day, any time. <laughs> I, uh, uh, would you rather save someone's life or have a bucket full of gold? Wow. Where whose life? Where? It depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends. <laughs> if it is your enemy, I will it take is. the gold. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a nice one. If it is your enemy, you take the gold <laughs> from Banana Haliako. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it depends. Like, me, it's like Zingine Apa. They're not giving me a good mine option. Are not making sense Would you like rather have one. all your emails for the next two months made public, or, or oh, this must have been it? The rest of it is here. Mm, I wondered. Okay. Or have your text messages read by everyone? No, no let, emails. Let, let, emails. Let them read the emails. There. Yeah. You <laughs> can go and access the emails. Text, text yeah. is a charmer. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Let them access emails. Uh -huh, Lenny. Um, would you rather have an arranged marriage or spend the rest of your life single? Have well, spend I mean, the rest of my life single. Yeah, yeah, no, 
I mean, I'll do arranged. Yeah. Then I chomoka, I become single. Because some Why arranged marriages arranged considered marriage? like with Asians and stuff, you know, they are happily yeah. arranged marriage yeah. marriages. Yeah. I'm saying it depends. Maybe they will arrange marriage with the uh, Trump. Or why not? Oh. Yes, you never know. Trump. Who it could be. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Oh, it is. It depends. <laughs> the arrangement no, depends. Uh. Chantal, mm -hmm. uh -huh. would you rather be completely bald or covered from head to toe with hair? Wow. Uh, okay, I'm covered with hair. I'm like, so. I'd rather. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> head to toe with hair because I can shave it all the time. Yeah. I look weird. No, bald. but there's that's like you can't shave. <laughs> like where? <laughs> like your chest, your <laughs> arms. Can you yeah. imagine now shaving every... After that, you know. bald. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be honest. That would be tough. Already, it's a struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Some of, okay. Some yeah. of people yeah. are born with hair everywhere. Like you. Yes. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm not imagining. <laughs> 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 guys, guys, this one is interesting. Eh? <laughs> would you rather hang out with Governor Lonyanga Po? We are not there. Come no, to Kafupi around. I will really say, I come to Kafupi round. Kafupi round. Oh, okay. <laughs> or Gavara Joho, Gavara Joho, any day. Any day. Bowling day. Bowling. Bowling. Okay. <laughs> would you rather make a movie of your life before you were 21 or? I, I think this is the continuation. <laughs> a movie of your life after the age of 21. Yeah, after the age of. Mm. No. Yeah. After the age of 21. That's yeah. where the party is. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be on a game show or star in a hey, soap opera anytime, baby? So, actually, would you rather be on a game show game or a show. star in a soap opera? Game but show because I win money. Game show if you can win uh, money. And so far, <laughs> you can, you know, you can get money. You can become an, a famous actress and you know, you I go guess. to Hollywood and, and win some money. Ma Maria. Yeah. 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 Maria. 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 Set the table. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Like like set yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, set the table. Okay. Huh? Would you rather let it go or get even? Depends. Okay. Okay. I'd rather let it go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It depends. Energy to it depends. Even. There's some situation you just want to get even. Mm. And then sit there with popcorns. Yeah. And just <laughs> watch the movie unravel. <laughs> <laughs> And just oh let him go. Yeah. Yeah. You're so evil. Anyway, um, okay. Would you rather have to eat a bowl full of live worms or a live frog? Uh, I know. Worms. Oh, there has to be something Jeez. as a I, worm like, for you to live. Either live worms a or dollars? live frog. <laughs> yeah. no, live for for a million dollars. Such a frog. Yes, yes, you you got an eye. No, oh. the frog will look at me. Mm. But the worm will think that's... But the ones will be like this in your mouth. Oh my God! Yes, so guys, guys, we're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. But today on our live spot, sorry, our live spot, yes, our live spot segment, we're discussing unemployment and how it affects social life and how people judge you and shame you because you maybe you lost a job and you decided to take another job. What do you think about unemployment and job shaming? I'm also unemployed. Mm. Um, I think people should not shame people who have lost their jobs because we're currently living in a time where jobs are hard to find, especially even if you're educated and all that. Mm. People should not shame other people because they're unable to find work. Have you been shamed before? No, I have been very open that I'm unemployed. Mm -hmm. I've spoken about my hard financial times, which people should openly speak about this mm. whole thing of masking who you really are on social media yeah. can lead to a mm. lot of depression mm. and sadness mm. Mm. yeah true. living a life mm. that is large yeah. exactly you're actually struggling yeah exactly mm. 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 and um are you planning to get back into acting is it like a break or um i do want to get back mm -hmm. into acting there's something i'm working on right now mm. hopefully it will sneak peek oh i can't talk about <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you went for an alone vacation. How was that? I was staying away yeah. from your child for... No, okay, it wasn't a vacation, it was for work. I had <laughs> been invited um, mm -hmm. by Kipra to talk about fistula and mm -hmm. the state of maternal health care in Kenya, mm -hmm. just to show the people in a position what it's like to access health care, mm -hmm. but it was also a vacation on the side. It was fun. Yeah. Staying away from her, uh, the first time I did that was when I went for my fourth surgery. Yeah. That was the hard part, but mm. right now it's not... 
uh, it's hard because I live yeah. with my mom. Yeah. yeah. And, and mamas and are mamas the, are the best. You'll yeah. just even sleep <laughs> through. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So what do you like doing for fun? When you're not vlogging, when you're not... Uh, yeah. Yes, when you're not vlogging or thinking well, of content. Or speaking about fistula. Yes. <laughs> mm, right now, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and eating mm. eating out i like uh discovering new places mm. to i'm a foodie so. what, what do you love yeah. the red food chinese oh me and you girl yeah, yeah. <laughs> chinese is the one i love right. japanese uh, <laughs> japanese <laughs> and korean is good yeah. the last can it's okay thank you so much Chantel, for coming yeah. through. thank you so much for inspiring so before we go, we just uh, talk to people, mm -hmm. where people can get you, okay. watch your yeah. vlogs. People, maybe people have heard about your story, maybe mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, my name is Chantelle Petit. I'm a vlogger. You can find me on Instagram, Chantelle underscore Petit, or YouTube, Chantelle Petit. For anything motherhood, lifestyle, I'll be interviewing my gynecologist very soon, so you can get more information about fistula and everything Femicare. Wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. We want to much. say such a big mm. thank you for sharing your story. We do hope that somebody out there could have learned something from you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys, it is goodbye from us. See you tomorrow, same time, same place with the lovely Four Queens. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye.